How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Welcome back to this week's Adventure Quest video and oh boy, I'm super excited for today's video. Okay, and I feel that this is probably going to be the one of the most impactful updates in 2022. Granted, we're only three weeks into 2022, but uh, this is a very big update. Okay, it's not a long quest, it's not a tough boss fight, it's not a revamp of, you know, some OP items or what. Rather, it is an update to the shop system as well as the attack menu. So I have not seen any of this uh, yet, okay? I have not been onto the discords to look at it. I have not seen any other videos on it. So this is really going to be a first look, okay? Uh, I know a lot of people are excited about this and frankly speaking, I'm quite excited too. I've seen the sneak preview, however, and uh, my first impressions of the sneak preview was that it didn't remind me of AQ. Okay, so we'll go and talk about it a bit more. So let's see what it looks like. Uh, the finalized form. Oh boy, okay. Waiting is taking a little bit long. In fact, it's taking a bit longer than previously. So I guess there's a bit of a downside because they have to load in all of these graphics right now. So yeah, a little bit longer waiting time. Okay, right off the bat, we're going to talk about what we see here. So Han's face over here. Uh, I kind of like this. This part, I really like. Okay, especially this. Them adding the commas. For the gold and the Z token amount, very good. Okay, makes it so much easier to read the amount that you have right now rather than having to count the decimal, the, the number of digits that you have one by one. That makes it such a chore. Okay, so I really like this change. I wish that they, they could have implemented this so much earlier. I'm sure that this is takes like, what, five minutes of coding. In fact, less than five minutes of coding to do. I have no idea why they didn't implement this earlier. But yes, finally, easier way to read gold and Z tokens. Unfortunately, it's still the same here. I hover over my character, so I kind of hope that they'll change, they'll add in the commas for this this part as well, you know, make it much easier to read. Okay, so positive change for this part, I like this very much. This one, however, uh, okay, first things first, I don't want to say it looks ugly, it actually looks pretty nice, but for me, personally, and this is just me, I don't know if you guys feel the same way, when I think of AQ, uh, like the old AQ from my childhood, I think of two things. First thing being the attack menu, second thing being the shops, and this looks nothing like old AQ to me. So if I'm a returning player and I see this, I'll, I'll be like, what is this game? I don't even recognize it anymore. Like, I'm going to miss the old AQ, the old shop, you know, where they just had text. That was very, very reminiscent of old AQ. Again, I don't think this is a bad change, but I like the nostalgic feel, okay? Is there a way whereby you can toggle the old and the new shop system? I mean, they managed to do that for the sound effects. Maybe they can do that for the shop system as well for, for people who prefer the older one. And also for people, you know, who don't like to spend forever waiting for the shop to load. Okay, it's just a little bit longer waiting time. I don't know, maybe some of the other shops might take longer uh, if there are more items in it. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, this is my first impression. So if you click on weapon, ooh... Oh, ho, 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 ho. whoa, 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 okay. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, right off the bat here. Very nice change. Okay, elements. Uh, You can still see the elements here. Again, I don't know what to feel about this elements. It doesn't remind me of AQ. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Uh, the weapons, if it's longer than that, it will start to scroll to the right so you can see the full name. So I like that change. This is a good change. Okay, it shows the level here very clearly. I like that. And the best part is uh, it shows what items are Z tokens now and what web items are Go now. So this is a good change. Okay, Uh, I just don't really, you know, I it's just me, guys. I miss the feel of the old shop look. Alright, what is this exactly though? Oh, the preview is here, and this one, okay, stats, range, damage, description, okay. Okay, uh, doesn't really say much. The preview, however, hmm, I think the preview is a downgrade, guys. Like, if it's bigger than that, I cannot see. Previously, you can see the full thing, but this one, if the weapon is, like, too big, you can't really see it. So, yeah, you see, it gets cut off. You can't scroll or you can't, wait, drag or whatever. So, yeah, the preview, I kind of wish that either they'll make it smaller, fit it, fit it inside the frame, or, you know, give us the ability to zoom or, like, uh, give us, like, a magnifying glass or something here, or we can open it up and see the weapon full screen. You know, I think that would be nice. Uh, right now, some parts get cut off, which is very weird. So, this is a downgrade from... 
previously where you can see the full thing here yeah a bit of a shame here this stats part i wish that they'll add more to it other than showing the damage because honestly this damage means nothing because uh you're not doing this amount of damage after you take in all the calculations from the stats and all that kind of stuff so frankly this is pointless uh information like nobody freaking looks at this information like let's be real here nobody looks at this information okay i think this space will be better off if they add in the effects that the weapons would do like a small mini info sub section you don't have to give all the calculations or the numbers or whatever but i feel like some uh the effects of what the item does you could put it here uh, or like the shields like for example the shields the resistances you can put it here mrm you can put it here for the armors as well you know that sort of thing uh the description you can keep the description it still does say the effect but i would like it to be uh like you know uh chris sometimes the description doesn't tell you everything about the effect so i would like it to uh like for this stats part to tell you exactly what the thing does how much sp it costs all that kind of stuff i think this space will be better utilized if they actually did it that way so it seems like uh the commas they added here as well so that's nice all right and with this search button let's see here uh how do i search for stuff oh just type okay so uh yeah it it comes out as i type so that's good yeah it comes out as i type so yeah this is uh i would say this is a good change especially for people with large inventory or there's a lot of things you want to buy then yeah this is good otherwise uh i don't really see myself using this honestly i'll just click on this and then i'll just scroll yeah that's that's honestly what i'll do all right so here items oh oh wait what hello paintings oh nice nice okay uh no stats here all right hmm not bad miscellaneous items oh oh wait wait a minute it says here oh hold on oh it does say here oh okay nice nice they did say it here awesome yes thank you this is the information that i want to see but again oh now they have previews or armors also oh okay but yeah again uh please you know if you can do the the ability to zoom or like you know give us like you a pop open window whereby you can see the thing in like the full screen so you can really see how the thing looks like before you buy this one like you cut off like half of it what what even is the point or give us some, uh the ability to drag it around so you can see the full thing you know what i'm saying so yeah okay they added the stats here awesome yes thank you very much okay uh i wish they'll add the effects as well apart from just the basic stats here like tell us what this item does uh and then like how much does it cost for the sp cost mp cost all that kind of stuff okay awesome spells let's see here and it says the mp cost it just tells you the mp cost doesn't tell you the damage or whatnot what does it do yeah okay yeah why exactly like that have it pop open they did it for spells they did it for spells why can't they do it for armors and weapons yeah awesome they actually did it for spells wow okay yeah for some maybe it's coming next time i don't know uh in a future update nice okay for pets what do we have here pets uh again damage doesn't mean anything so yeah that's kind of pointless yeah spells is the only one yes exactly what i'm looking for do it something like this for all of the items this is what i'm talking about guys do it exactly like spells for all of the items for weapons for armors for shields whatever okay awesome miscellaneous item what about this then preview okay this one i can't see anything at all let's go to inventory uh okay inventory you can't see your own stuff you can only see the selling price and all that okay but let me go through more of the shop stuff first. so here this one i believe it's house guards and this one i believe it's house items or estate items here is the painting section faces uh, again the preview doesn't say doesn't let you zoom in or what okay and then we have titles okay so if you want to uh inventory here okay so it shows a treasure chest okay i like that aesthetic 
Extra slots here. This is the oh, I already maxed this up. <laughs> okay, so uh, those in your active inventory, it's highlighted. That's nice. So the highlight is not super obvious. Yeah, it's not super obvious, but uh, it's there. It's there. You know, I wish they made it a little bit more obvious. Okay, and the best part is. Guys, finally, after freaking 20 over years, it is here. The ability to drag and drop inside of the official game. Okay, not using NIVP specialized launcher and whatnot. And apparently, if you drag this and then you put it here, you can swap places or something. Yeah, okay, so if you put it in between, it goes up there. Yeah, you put it in between, it goes up there. If you put it uh, on the item itself, it swaps places with the item. Okay, so yeah, I think this is an awesome, freaking awesome update, guys. Okay, so yes, this is exactly what we need. Okay, let me see here. Extra slots, how many can I buy here? 100. Wait, how can I buy so many? Uh, zero or oh, 101 maximum. Wait, isn't the maximum like 103? Hello? Zero or oh, 101 addition maximum additional slots are available. Hold on. Wait a minute. Uh, I'm not understanding this. Hold up. Isn't the number of armor and Weapon slots the same? Hmm. For science, guys. For science, I'm going to see if I can exceed the amount. Okay, I bought 3 slots. Now I have 104 armor slots. Huh. Wait a minute. Wait, how come I can buy over the limit? How come I can buy over the limit? Hello? What's going on here? Hello? Is this? Oh my god. How come I can buy over the limit? Are you saying I can buy... Yeah, I can buy over the limit for that. Hmm. Hmm, so my armor slots have one extra slot. Okay, very weird. Okay, will they refund me my Z tokens or will they let me keep the slot? I'm assuming they are going to refund the Z tokens. But yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. Okay, let's look at this. Uh, house, oh, paintings, yep. Paintings, you can look at it here. Guards. Yep. Resources. Oh, this is, yeah, estate buildings. Okay, nice. Faces. Titles. Okay, shared vault. Let's look at the shared vault. Okay, it shows the picture of a vault here. Vault Z tokens. Uh, slots. Wow, okay. So, vault looks about the same from the inventory. Okay, so I would say I don't hate the update. I don't hate the shop update, but I still miss the old shop system. I do think this is an improvement in many, many areas, but it's just that I maybe it's just me not being used to this aesthetic. Like, I don't think it looks ugly or what I... Yeah, it's just me not being used to the aesthetic. It's a bit too, I don't know, flashy. If if you, I don't know if I can put it that way. Yeah, a bit too flashy for my liking. Even though I'm someone who likes a lot of flashy and edgy stuff, but I think this is a little bit too much in my opinion. Okay, so yeah, all in all, I think the shop update, I would give it like a 8 out of 10. There are many, many great features. And of course, a lot of people are probably going to like all of these uh, nice icons here and the ability to zoom in all that, showing the stats all that. I 
think these are very good points, but I feel like it could be polished or improved a little bit more before it gets, uh, you know, released. Hopefully they'll fix it. And of course, this one, how am I able to get one more extra slot? Are you going to refund me the Z tokens, please? Uh, either let me keep the extra slot because I experimented in the name of science or you know what, just refund me my Z tokens. All right. Uh, and let us go ahead and check out. Okay, let's check out another shop actually. Item shop. Let's see if we see a different person here this time. Okay, no. Uh, yep. Oh, this one you can see the... Wait, uh, pretty sure that's not how Mark of the Gallon looks. Wait, is that how it looks like? Oops, maybe I remember wrongly. Okay, so not all items are out yet, according to them. Only some items are out, okay? So this is good, but tell me what the item does, please. Yeah, okay, so you can't see all items, but I can see most of the items. Alright. Okay, okay. Now, let's see the attack menu, guys. Okay, attack menu. Oh boy, very excited. Let's see what we have here. Uh, looks the freaking same. Yeah, looks the freaking same to me. Uh, hmm. There's no change. Is it because I'm using the NIVP's, NIVP's launcher? That's why I'm not seeing any changes. Can't be, right? It looks exactly the same. Did they add these things here? I never noticed these things here before. Was that the only thing that they added? Like two freaking banners or something at the side? I don't know. I don't really pay much attention to this. Huh. Okay, you know what? Let me pause the video here. And let me go check on the official launcher as well as check back on old videos to see if they have this freaking banner thing right here. Okay, sorry guys, I was being an idiot. It was always here. I had no idea why I thought that this wasn't here. Okay, so there is no change. It's just that they added a new button to dismiss guesses if you have a guess out. So let's see what the dismiss guess button looks like. Where do I find it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so dismiss guess here. I guess it's a nice to have. I don't have to re-summon it or I don't have to summon another thing to, you know, coil off. I could just, you know, summon another one here straight away and then like, yeah, it's it's a small quality of life change. It's not anything game changing and do I think it's needed? I would say not really, but nice to have. Okay, nice to have. Also, what in the world is this? Oh, 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 you can toggle this. Was this always here? I had no idea. Okay, so yeah, just a small quality of life change. I don't really think it was needed, but you know what? Nice to have. Can't complain. Okay, so this attack menu button update the ability to dismiss guesses. Probably a 6 out of 10 for me. I wouldn't really say it's necessary to have it there, but you know what? Quality of life change is quality of life change, you know, can't complain about that. So 6 out of 10. Alright, so uh, what does this mean going forward? I really like the fact that the staff are putting effort to do all these quality of life changes, especially since NIVP came up with this first. So what does this actually mean? It means that the staff is aware, the staff knows what uh, people are doing to improve the game. And the staff sees this and obviously maybe they feel that, hey, why should someone else who is who are not the creators of the game, do a better job than me. So in a sense, you know, uh, with all these innovations, it puts pressure on the developers to do better for the game. And I think this is uh, obviously really good for us players, right? Because we get more quality of life changes. But of course, if you think about it from a developer's perspective, then I guess it sort of also puts unnecessary stress on them to like do better. But hey, uh, we all want just want to improve the game, right? So I think this is a positive thing. Okay, don't take it negatively. Uh, so yeah, people uh, improve on the game and then the devs see something that is good and then they eventually implement it themselves into the official launcher because you know, uh, if you're the creators of the game, why would you want people to use something that is third party just to get all these quality of life changes? You know what I'm saying? Why would uh, you want them to use a third party launcher to get the quality of life changes when you can do it yourself? 
okay, when you can have it in the official launcher yourself. Of course, I do think that uh, they obviously want people to play in the official launcher over a third-party launcher, okay, not just for security reasons, but also because, you know, uh, in a way, it's like showing them respect, something like that. Some people want to think it that way. I honestly think it doesn't matter. As consumers and players of the game, I feel like... Uh, we should have more variety in terms of what we can use and of course quality of life changes are always welcome whether it's in the official launcher whether it's in an unofficial launcher it doesn't really matter you know what i'm saying so i like that we have different variety and they actually started doing this with aq wars first 133 spider he made a client for aq wars with like a lot of uh, quality of life changes that people wanted for freaking years and then aq wars uh the dev team they realized that why not just hire this guy and put all the stuff inside our own official launcher? And that's what they did. And look at how much uh, Spider has accomplished. He has even gone on to work for AQ, for Dragon Faber as well. And has he worked on AQC yet? I don't really know. I'm not really sure. But if uh, he does, I'm sure he'll put up a lot of great quality of life changes. So if you guys have any suggestions, uh, feel free to go ahead and voice them out in the official channel, uh, Discord channels, in the freaking uh, battle on forums that apparently people still use nowadays. So yeah, let the staff know what you guys want so that they can implement these quality of life changes. Alright, I think it's a very good step in the right direction. And what does this mean for NIVP's launcher? Honestly, I'm going to have to say it's going to be RIP to his launcher very soon. Because with all these great quality of life changes coming to the official launcher, there's really not much reason to use a third party launcher. You know what I'm saying? The biggest reason that I think people want to use his launcher for is for the reorder inventory. At least for me it is. Of course, the option to play multiple characters at once is also a huge uh, reason, especially for warmongers, for people who want to do farming every single day. Maybe they might add it to the official launcher. Okay, I think that is a very highly requested thing for AQ. Not so much for Dragon Fable, uh, Dragon for Dragon Fable or for AQers, but for AQ, especially for the warmongers, for people who want to cap every day for the donation contest to save up stuff. You know, I think that will be good. Multi-screen, all right. Uh, give us that ability, multi-screen. Buy an open golden gift box with Z tokens. Honestly, I think that this one is not going to be used that often, so it's not really a big thing. Because uh, how many whales are there in the game? And how often are you going to be spending 500,000 or 100,000 Z tokens on golden gift boxes and opening them all at once? Maybe once a year during Black Friday. But other than that, you're not going to use that feature very often. You know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, donations, yeah. I wish that they could change that as well, let us donate more uh, rather uh, at the same time rather than you know having to wait for a cooldown, I have no idea why they do that. Estate, sending all armies, please staff let us do this, like this should be a uh, easy fix as well in my opinion, okay easy to change that. Hotkeys, I don't use hotkeys, even for Dragon Faber I don't use the hotkeys but uh, for people who like to use hotkeys, who like to use the keyboard instead, it's a nice quality of life feature to have. And of course, the menu two tips and whatnot for new and returning players, the thing that pops up, I think that'll be good. Okay, for people who are under a certain level, I wish the staff could implement that as well. I'm not going to show it here. This one, the lock. Okay, Dragon Faber already has like a sort of alpha lock. I guess this would be nice too to have inside of uh, AQ, but. Do I think it's needed? No, because personally, I'm not one who uses it. So yeah, these are my opinions on the shop updates, guys. And of course, the small change to the attack menu. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'd love to hear uh, what are your guys' suggestions on this, what you guys think about this. Do you think it's a good change? Will you guys prefer the old shop menu like me? And yeah, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel. If you guys would like to see more of such future content. Oh, and one more thing before I go. I started making AQ shots. I have ideas for a few more shots. Do go ahead and check them out. Literally, it only takes less than one minute of your day. And if you guys have any suggestions for shots, leave them down in the comments below. Alright, so till the next time, I'm your host, Carbon Gaming. Peace out.